This is a presentation on femtosecond laser cataract surgery and you are seeing the Lensex femtosecond laser. The femtosecond laser has a patient interface, this blue device which is on the tip of the laser. And with this, the laser docks onto the eye of the patient. Now the docking is complete and as soon as the laser docks the machine starts picking up live images of the eye so once we are ready we start marking the points on the eye here we are marking the centration of the laser on the eye which in technical terms is called the limbus marking and then marking the incisions and then we come to the anterior capsule marking now there are two lines which you see here the purple line and the yellow line and the laser will cut between these two lines so we place them in such a position that they are in front and back of the anterior capsule we accept the data and we go to the next data which is the nucleus and we have to cut the nucleus as deep as possible, but we have to maintain at least 800 microns safety zone from the posterior capsule. Once we get that depth in position, we accept the data. Now we move to the incisions. The incision marks the anterior and posterior seen as green spots are already in place. This is a triplanar incision and then we press the foot pedal. The laser starts moving within the eye and you can see this circular impression. This is the femtosecond laser cutting the anterior capsule. After that, this cruciate incision is seen as a yellow incision. This is where the laser is cutting the nucleus into four pieces. You see a lot of cavitation bubbles coming up and some bubbles are even escaping out into the anterior chamber. After the femtosecond laser part is over, we bring the patient to the operation theater. And from the side incision, we fill up viscoelastic and you can see that the anterior capsule has moved from its position. So it was fairly well cut and detached. Now from the main incision with the rexus forceps, we detach the anterior capsule from its side edges. We don't pull it out because there could be tissue tags which could cause to a tear of the CCC. And now we are placing this anterior capsule on the cornea to show you the symmetry of the cut. It is a perfect round circular 5 mm dia cut as if it has been cut by a compass. A feature which cannot be achieved with a human hand. We do a hydro dissection and you can see these cavitation bubbles coming out which were trapped inside the nuclear mass. And now we are ready to start the FACO. With FACO, we first open up the pre-cut parts of the nucleus which has already been cut into four pieces. So we are hardly using any FACO energy here. And we are actually saving on FACO energy which we would have used normally to make these incisions. And this helps us reduce our effective echo time and the accumulated dissipated energy. So once we have these four incisions opened out, then like any normal FACO procedure, we pick up each nuclear fragment, break it up into small pieces and suck it out. So this is the first fragment gone out. We dial the nucleus pick up the second fragment, emulsify it, and then the third and the fourth. The process has become very simple with the help of a femtosecond laser. The surgical skills have reduced and the accuracy has increased. And now we are putting in the Equisoft IQ IOL through this 2.2 millimeter incision. The lens opens up within the eye and it, once it settles down in position, you can see the edges being overlapped by the edges of the CCC 
a perfect overlap thank you